Hey, this is Tony Ross for creativecow.net. And basically in this lesson, I want to do something, uh, just kind of playing around with some letters here and showing you some different effects you can do and show you how simple it is to make something look pretty cool. Uh, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to select my text tool here and it's going to start out, uh, I'm going to get myself a decent size text here. I'm just using a simple little gill sans. Uh, I'm going to type out something complicated like, I don't know, letters. So let's go L-E-T-T-E-R-S. Looks pretty good. All right, now, got that set up. And maybe I'll make that even a little bit larger. Looks pretty good. Okay, so here's the trick. First, I want to break this apart. So I'm going to do a command. Command B for break apart. Control B on PC. And the next thing I'm going to do is come right here on these letters, right click or control click. And what I'm looking for is this little guy that says distribute to layers. Okay. Now, if you look, we only have layer one right now. Okay. So here's the trick distribute to layers. And if you look again, it's actually broken all this up for us. Each one of these letters is now on its own layer. Okay? This is pretty cool because when I first learned Flash, you had to do all this by hand. Okay. And just to keep myself safe, layer one, which has nothing, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that. Let's uh, trash that layer. Okay. Now, each one of these guys, I'm going to select that and convert it to a symbol. Uh, let's do F8 and because I want to do some interesting effects later I'm not going to keep this as a graphic I want to make it a movie clip so I'm going to call that L okay select this next one it's uh, F8 it's going to be E and the next one now here's where we get interesting there are two T's you cannot have more than one symbol name the same thing so F8 this is going to be uh, T1 I don't like the T1000. Okay, uh, this one's going to be a T2. Okay, and ah, we already had an E, which I didn't call E1, but I'm going to call this one E2 anyway. So let's do E2 and R and S to round all this off. Okay. Now, got that set. So what I want to do is I want this to happen. Uh, I'm at the default of 12 frames a second here. I want this to happen. I don't know, probably not too long. So right at maybe 10 frames here. So I'm going to select all the layers. I'm going to hold on my shift key, select all those and enter a keyframe F6. Okay. Now what I want to do in frame one, is select all of these. Hold on my shift key again. It selects all of those. And let's move this so I can see everything that I'm doing. Go to my free transform tool. And instead of me just pulling, I'm going to hold on my shift key and my option key, Alt on PC. So it's actually pulling all out from one center point there. And to make sure I can do this even better, I'm going to zoom out. Command minus, Control minus on PC. And so I'll hold on option and shift again and make this pretty ridiculously large. Okay. Now, while all of these are selected, I can click here once on the stage, come down to this area here and I can say color. Let's do alpha and stick it to about 20%. And what I want to do in addition to that, let's go to filters. This is why I chose the uh, movie clip because I can add filters to it. Uh, let's go and say blur. Okay, so I can raise this blur up a bit, almost to ridiculous standards there. Okay, and I'm gonna boost my quality a little bit. Let's see how far can we blur it out? It's at a hundred percent. That's not bad. Okay, now so it's blurred there, and it's also alpha at twenty and it's huge versus here where it's normal size. 
So what I'm going to do next, select all of these layers at the same time, hold on my shift key, and right click or control click, and let's do create motion tween. Okay. So it's not bad. Okay. Looks pretty cool. Now the trick is whatever you want to do, uh, let's say maybe at this frame you want them to be, I don't know, rotated. Maybe you want them to be red. Whatever you're going to do, you're going to set that up in frame one and then have it go to whatever frame you want it to do. And I'm doing all these while they're in the same order there. This is not very exciting here. It's kind of boring, but we're going to do some excitement in a second. Um, what I want to do next is select each one of these layers and I can just do that by clicking right here on the little icon and just offset it. Okay. So I'm not having one come in at the exact same time as another. Now this looks cool, but at the end of the day, what it's about is if I'd hold the internet to say, load the word letters, all of those uh, letters at the same time, then it's not as smooth as just basically telling it to come in one bit at a time because the internet works in streams. Okay. So I'm just kind of making this a little more playful here and offsetting some things. Okay. Now let's go ahead and uh, test this out. Command return. Okay looks kind of weird and we don't have anything really staying there. Let's fix that. Let's come out to frame 60. Hold on our shift key, select all the frames. And what we're going to do now is enter a frame, simply F5. Okay. So now let's test it. Command return. Okay. Not bad. I think E is coming in a little late there but we can adjust that. Okay, let's close this out. Let's grab Mr. E there. Mr. E, sorry, bad pun. Okay, bring him back there. And now we'll try this out. Okay, not bad at all. Now, if you're thinking, dude, I really don't like that blur. Uh, well, it's not a terribly bad thing to uh, fix. Uh, let's do this. Let's close this out. And it is better to do whatever effect you're going to do. Do it at the beginning while they're all stacked up. It makes your life a lot easier. Okay. So all I'm doing is just kind of moving these guys now back to the beginning. Slowly but surely. And that way I can work on all of the effects at the same time. So grab all of the frame ones here. Let's come here and let's say, uh, let's get rid of the blur. Okay. And, uh, what else are we going to do? Um, looks pretty cool. Uh, why don't we do something even crazier? Let's, uh, select the tween here. Okay. And Go to our properties area. Whoops. Let's go here. Select the twin. Go to our properties. And we've got rotate set to auto. Let's do uh, clockwise. Okay. It's not bad. And it's kind of rotating just seemingly once there. Uh, so now we can offset these guys. And since we've already got that 60 set up, I'm just going to select the keyframes here, just hold down on my shift key and select each keyframe, then offset. Okay. Grab a keyframe, grab the other keyframe, click and offset a bit. Grab the other one. And again, I'm trying to have these come in at just, just varying times there. Let's try it again. Click there, hold on my shift key there. Okay. That's better. Okay, and last but not least, let's move you just a little bit further in. Okay, so now let's test this out. Command, return. Okay, 
it's not bad all right last but not least I'm going to undo some stuff here uh, just command Z's I'm doing I think I've got 99 available so I think I can get myself out of trouble there okay let's go here grab the, all the tweens again and let's set the uh, rotate to none and what I want to do next is maybe just maybe let's do something extra fun okay we've got the tween set to motion let's click on edit okay and I'm going to uncheck this real quick and start playing around with the scaling and this is the custom ease out little thing so you can start messing around with uh, how much the tween is going to be playing around if you take a look uh, at earlier tutorials Lee Brimlow has an excellent tutorial on how to uh, use the little custom motion tween here I'm going to go ahead and click on okay well let's test this out first okay so it looks pretty decent and so now if you notice what's happening it's only happening to one of my letters it's just happening to the L there okay but you can really start having some fun with this so let's do scale on the rest of these let's see if we can get away with a little bit okay um, let's command return so the scales kinda of doing that little bounce okay and again last but not least we'll go in and we'll offset all these okay uh, noticed I'm not really trying to do these in order I like doing them out of order you can do them in order if you like it's your own personal preference uh, lemonade pink lemonade hey it's up to you strawberry lemonade maybe maybe it's not really strawberry maybe they just added a little bit of grenadine to it and said hey dude it's called strawberry um, yeah or maybe maybe they didn't have the grenadine maybe you got a really cool waiter and he like went into the dessert toppings and like got some of those little strawberry preserve kind of things that you put on top of like a sundae oh yeah strawberry lemonade but then it's kind of chunky unless you've got one of those bubble tea straws you know and 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 bubble tea is kind of cool it's an acquired taste it's kind of like the Rocky Horror Picture Show you either like it or you don't there's no middle ground there okay enough about that command return Cool. All right. This has been Tony Ross for CreativeCal.net. And remember, keep it simple, keep it perfect. You don't have time to make it perfect, rethink the idea.